In this video, we will walk you through how to set up the virtual wall pod for your desktop or handheld device. To begin, log into your sensor view page and click on the admin tab at the top left hand corner of the screen. Next, locate the tab labeled plugins underneath the admin dashboard. If there is no plugins tab showing, then you will need to update your version of sensor view through the updates tab. You would see an option to update your system underneath software updates. Our software is currently up to date. Click plugins and then start the Enlight Virtual Wall Pod server. Now that the server is running, go to the users page by clicking users at the top right corner of the screen. Select the user by navigating the drop down. Click add a switch underneath virtual switches. If the server is not running or is stopped, virtual switches would not be visible on this page. You can label the virtual wall pod in the switch label box. Next, select your switch type. You can have a wall pod, a dimming wall pod, a global preset, which will control a pre-created global channel, or a button press which will control a single pre-created scene. We will create a wall pod. Next, we will select our control type, which can be a local channel, a global channel, or an individual device. We will then select the zone, which corresponds to the bridge port that houses the devices we want our virtual switch to control. Finally, we'll select the channel that our devices are tracking. Be sure to save your settings once your preferences are in place. After the virtual wall pod is set up in sensor view, we will need to download the virtual wall pod app from the overview tab in the top left corner of the screen. Click on the link that says virtual wall pod underneath the resources section. It is recommended to save this file to a flash drive so it can be installed to other machines throughout the network. Once the files are downloaded and extracted, locate it and run setup.exe. Follow the instructions to finish installation. Once the installation is finished, locate the virtual wall pod icon in the taskbar. Right click and enter network configuration. If the virtual wall pod app is installed to the sensor view host machine, the sensor view URL will match the screenshot. If it is installed to a remote machine, the sensor view URL will be your host machine IP address forward slash sensor view. Finally, log in as the user that you saved your virtual switch to, and your virtual wall pod will be running and will control the assigned relays. Click on the icon and the switch will appear. Whenever your switch is backlit, it indicates that the relay controlled by the virtual wall pod is closed and that the lights will be on. Now that setup for the host machine is complete, the iOS app can be downloaded. Go to the App Store from your Apple device and search for Inlight Virtual Wall Pod. Click on the links to install the application. Once installed, launch the app and you will be presented with the wall pod settings page. Enter the server settings URL, which is HTTP, followed by the host computer's IP address, forward slash sensor view. Set save password and auto logon to desired settings and then click done. Log in with the user credentials for the wall pod you want to control, and then select a switch from the devices list. Once our switch is selected, installation will be complete.
That concludes our video. Thanks for watching.